Is it going? Okay. So the video cut off and I accidentally did a line of this without you on it. But basically when we cut off, um, we were doing distributive property. So 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6. And then on this side, 5 times negative 2x, negative 10x, minus 5 times 1 is 5. Okay? So, um, after that, we just have a regular algebra equation, and we just need to decide how to solve it. And there's really four different things we could do as our first step. So if we were in the classroom, I would ask what you wanted to do first, and I would just go with that. But since you can't respond right now, I'm just going to do what I would do first, which was plus 10x. So that the goal here is we've got x on this side and a number on this side, x on this side and a number on this side. We need to put the x's together and we need to put the numbers together. And I, I did plus 10x. I could have done minus 2x and move that over here. I could have done plus 5 and move that over here. I could have done minus 6 and move that over here. So there's four different things we could do, but this is me and I did plus 10x. So if I did that here, I got to do it on the other side. Okay. So 2x plus 10x is 12x. Still have the plus 6. This got canceled, but remember, the 10x got canceled, the negative 10x got canceled, this minus did not get canceled, so this is still negative 5. So now we've got 12x plus 6 equals negative 5. What should we do next? Got all our x's here, now we want to get all our numbers over here, so we got to get rid of the 6. Yes, minus 6. It is plus, so we do minus. And same thing on both sides. That cancels. We got 12x. Negative 5 minus 6. So on the number line, you're at negative 5. And minus 6 means you're going 6 back more into the negative. So it's going to be negative 11. 12x equals negative 11. And what's the last step? Almost always divide yes so 12 divided by 12 cancels you're left with x equals and then we've got negative 11 over 12 and can that be reduced my trusty camera woman shakes her head so, x equals negative 11 over 12. I don't even know what that is as a decimal, but I trust some of you will end up telling me because you'll be doing it on a calculator, and it'll give you the decimal of the answer. So, as you can see, if you just compare the length of the problems, 16, where we had to find two different bases,